I was on the streets for a year and a half. It's um, scary, lonely, and you get like pain from the cold, like a tight pain. Yeah, it's not nice. I was living in the family house with my mum and she got sick from cancer. I had to go and move in with my sister, but I couldn't stay there any longer. Then I was in and out of hospital with depression. So I've been homeless on and off since then. I just didn't get on with my dad. He wanted to bring me up all macho and that. I didn't agree with it. Then I just packed up and left. I've been homeless for a long time, squatting mostly. I didn't sleep in doorways or anything like that. I slept in garages or abandoned buildings, and that's if you could get in and if it ain't boarded up. We used to sleep in this old building. I don't even know if it's there now. And there were like loads of little rooms everywhere but you had to be quiet because of the security guards that controlled the building. But then people started being noisy and it was getting too loud and we all got kicked out and they started boarding it up. People look at you like you're dirt, you know, criticise you. I was sitting there once and I had a bottle of water chucked at me. You know, I'm in my sleeping bag trying to sleep and someone's chucking bottles of water at you, so it's not nice. That's when I knew I had to get a tent and be in the middle of nowhere, in the, in the woods. Yeah, you just hear the noises, the fights, everything, kick out time. It's much more peaceful where I am. I hear the rumble of traffic because the motorways are quite close, but three or four in the morning, you can't really hear the noise. By about four or five, it's starting to rumble again, and then six o'clock, same old day. Same old shit, another day. Then I started getting in with glue sniffers and cider drinkers, going from place to place. I drifted quite a bit. I just got used to survival. Even when I had a flat, I was looking for hiding places. Then I'd think, hang on, I've got a flat to go back to. Yeah, it's hard to adapt. It's like any institution, I suppose. You get people come out of the army and they can't adapt. It was hard. I never expected to be homeless, no. I got into a bad relationship. Um, something happened to my kids. Um, um, my three girls and... He hurt my daughter. I used to do nights, like care work and... Um, I woke up during the day and she had a great big um, black eye and that. And um, so my mum and dad looked after the three of them. And after that, everything just started going downhill. I tried to kill myself and ended up in the psych ward for a few years, in and out of hospital. I just couldn't look after my kids because of bad relationships that I kept on having. I understand that, yeah, and that's why I gave my kids up. I was suicidal because I gave them up, because I couldn't protect them. I just wanted to end my life, yeah. I just had enough of life. Someone is keeping me here, and I think that's my kids, so. I found out about the shelters through the hospital. They've been referring me to different places, but a lot of places are saying no because I ain't from the area and I need a connection. I've been in this shelter 28 days. They extended me for a week, but that's ended tomorrow. I've always got that worry, you know, what if I'm back on the streets? Which is quite likely. Then I'll be back in the woods. 
I just want a place. My own flat so I can get a job and make something of myself. There is some kind people out there, yeah. Some of them look down on you like, and it feels like someone's spitting on you when they look at you. A smile, yeah. That gives you a little bit of warmth inside, like they've thought of you. I'd just say, go to a shelter, get a list of places from the council, keep on with the housing. Go to the housing every day and try not to get into that circle. Because you get into this circle where you think there's nothing else. Don't drift. Because once you drift, you end up losing hope. What would I say? Um, I'd say go to any professional you can. Um, even if you don't even know them, because you need to speak to someone. Don't hold it in because it makes you crazy and then you won't be able to cope. So. It's like we're invisible. Invisible people.